many ways can we use to say zero in English? And is it true that the word zero is especially used in British English while O is especially used in American English? Or maybe there is a specific context when we use one or the other? Let's see together. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Admayora. So today we're going to discover how we can say zero in English. There are different ways and uh, first of all I want to say that uh, uh, there is a prejudice out there that zero is the word that we use that is used mostly in, uh, in, in British English while O is used in American English. Well guys, it's not true, or anyway, it's not completely true. It may be, well, maybe eventually, it could have been so in the past that obviously talking about British English or talking about American English is a generalization, so there are different kinds of English, uh, and so obviously uh, one word or the other can be used more or less in one area or in another area, but uh, um, the truth is that there are specific situations and a specific context in which we use one word or the other. So let's see them together. And by the way, if you find my content interesting and if you like my channel, would you please click on the heart just uh, under the video, the thank you button and give a little support to the channel. It's so important for me to go on with this activity, which is totally for free and so it's so important that you help me help me and give me your support if you like this channel thank you so much now uh, let's go back to the zero <laughs> so first of all the word zero zero is a number of course and uh, um, it is used um, in sentences or expressions like figures from zero to nine. So in this case, I am talking about the figure. I'm talking about the number. So zero is the obvious um, way and the obvious word to express that. But if we're talking about sports, for example, I don't know, football scores. I'm Italian, we talk about football scores all the time. So in this case, we're not going to use the word zero, not at all. Um, for example, in the sentence here, we beat them three zero. No, we don't say that. We say we beat them three nil, three nil. Um, it's quite interesting if any of you have ever studied Latin uh, to remember that the word nil was spelled a, a little differently, there was a, an H in the middle, meant nothing in Latin. And so uh, it's quite interesting to see how modern words uh, um, are are still uh, somehow the result okay of, of that uh, uh, of that meaning of that of that language that's quite interesting to discover anyway let's go on with the next one which is probably one of the uh, most used and it is ho o okay um, ho is always used in phone numbers, for example, or strings of numbers in general. When you have a code, an order, or something, and you have to um, to say and to, uh, to, to, to to read out loud a string of numbers. In that case, you will always use O. For example, if a piece of this code or a telephone number is this, you will not, and I mean, never ever say 5070. No, you'll say 5070. If there are two O's, okay, you're going to say double O. Uh, but pay attention, this is a question I've been asked on this channel, very clever question. Uh, what if there are uh, an uh, alphanumeric uh, um, string, so numbers and letters? It may happen, it may happen a lot, especially, I don't know, passwords. We are often asked to, to uh, create a password that contains both letters and, 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 uh, and numbers. In that case, it could be, it could, 
I don't know, uh, using O could uh, be confusing because we could be uncertain whether this O is the number zero or the letter O. In that case, there is not a rule, I mean, uh, I'm not saying there is a general absolute rule, but native speakers tend to go back to the zero word. So in that case, they go back to zero if it can be confused with the letter O, okay? But this is a very specific situation. Generally talking when you're uh, expressing, when you're reading a string of numbers and especially your telephone number, remember to use O. Now, this one is uh, not so common. So I don't know if you have ever used it, if you are, if you're, obviously if you're not native speakers, this is note, note and it is used in fractions so in cases like this you will not say 0 or 0.8 but you're going to say note 0.8 by the way pay attention because here okay in the middle we've got a point i want to emphasize this thing because uh, um I mean, it's quite obvious for British people, for uh, American people, but it's not always obvious in other countries. I'm Italian and uh, uh, we don't use a point here, we use a comma, okay? Uh, but no, in, <laughs> in the Anglo-Saxon world, the comma is used when you have thousands, okay? And uh, uh, the point is used in fractions like this. Okay, so remember to use the point. And anyway, you will never say 0 0.8 or 0 0.8. You are supposed to say note 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, whatever you want. Okay? Last but not least, this is used a lot, especially in colloquial English, and it's zilch. Zilch means nothing, nothing at all. Okay? Absolutely nothing. Um, so, like an example here, I know zilch about football. It means I know absolutely nothing. I have no clue, okay? You have just told me your score here using the word nil, and, I, and my answer could be I'm sorry, but I know zilch about football. And uh, that's, that's obviously quite, quite strong because it means nothing, nothing, nothing at all, okay? That's it. So these are the main situations where you could find these words. Obviously there are exceptions, other ways to use it and uh, uh, subjective situations when you can decide whether to use one or the other, but these are the main circumstances. I hope it helped, it was interesting for you, so thank you so very much for being here, thank you so very much for liking my channel, for uh, subscribing and remember to hit the bell to have notifications and if you want click on the thank you button, okay, the heart to give a little support. Thank you so very much, see you very soon again, bye!